Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. And we were just starting to have some technical difficulties uh, as we are sharing information that is channeled in nature, and that always gets the AI going crazy. It hates channeled information. Yeah, it gets a little bit anal when it comes to that energy. Absolutely. Please do be subscribed to all three channels, Evolutionary EE Arts, where this one's going up. And over on Heart's Home, first thing we did was this. And this is prayers, mantras, and healing energy uh, for the earthquake victims because this is a key time right now. The way the guides put it is that right now you could have miracles happening left and right or what you would perceive to be miracles. Are they really miracles? They're still acts of intention. But it takes our attention with intention to create these miracles. That's so beautifully put. Yes, I mean, this is the whole reason we created Hearts Om, so that we could bring about these energies and get people in on it because so many people just really want to help. That's that's just what they what they say. You know, when we have consults with people, they really want to help. This is a great way. Please go over here. Uh, subscribe if you really feel that you want to and get in there and put your energy in with these mantras and let's just create a big tsunami of love and and health and helping absolutely so you know as is what we do on the on a daily basis the first thing we did was mantras and the guides came through with multiple messages. Uh, and one of them that was strongest was to get this out on Heart's Home. Because when we ask for help, we will get it. Ask and you shall receive. There is a piece of truth that is you know, just right out there in the open. You don't have to ask only uh, you know, beings of one particular human-oriented dogma. And so in this one, we have uh, basically, we're using mantras and affirmations call on the energy of several different quote-unquote divine feminine energies to help with the situation because it is that motherly love that we need right now that motherly nurturing as you know basically the earth is really going to go through a period of travail right now there's reasons for that and we were sharing with you that we didn't notice any technology uh on this one particular area in, in turkey ah now we know why because the guides have clarified this for us so when you see here this is what we currently have in turkey and yeah it's 53 quakes in 24 hour period you have the 7.8 that started everything rolling 17.9 kilometers deep then there was a 7.5 that is the experts are saying this is separate. This is not an aftershock. Um, and then we have various large ones, 6.7. We have so many. You could just so scroll through this in the fives and the fours. And another one, that's six, another 5.8, 5.7. So it's ongoing. You know, one thing that we've been telling you is that the real earth changes are going to happen. Uh, and start to happen. And for those that follow every day, you know, that's been one of the things we've been stressing. And yet, yeah, they are real earth changes. But if if somebody's tickling your foot, at some point in time, you might just burst out and have to laugh. As long as you've been holding a sneeze, at some point, you might have to sneeze. Uh, you know, if it's three more exits to go before you can get to a bath station, at some some point you might have to just pull the car off the highway and just make anywhere your bathroom. You know, <laughs> this is what's happening with the Earth right now, as she has been uh, triggered and is being triggered for a long time. The triggering is not happening in this area, though. That's the interesting part, and we're going to cover that at the end. There's some really interesting things that you won't find anywhere else, be, pretty much, unless they're tapping into, um, you know, their guides as well and getting this from more than just a quote-unquote scientific, logical, left-brain point of view. There's a lot going on here, guys. This is massive. This, as we were saying, this is a catastrophic quake. As you can see here, you know, buildings down everywhere. Uh, hundreds of buildings, thousands of buildings down. How many uh, have lost their lives? It's probably going to be in the tens of thousands. 
and and it could be even higher. It, this is still ongoing, and absolutely we get that this is not the end. And you know, really, this might be instead something that's kind of like a major trigger that's going to uh, just kind of keep rolling throughout the year 2023 you know I, I we would love to have come in and said 2023 don't worry hey it's 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 all gonna be you know peaches and creams from now on in instead we said to you guys 2023 is going to be more of the same but it's going to be an ever increasing intensity and this is just relaying what we've gotten. This is this is what we see. This is the messages we receive. Again, uh, you know, right now we we are in a believe it or not, this is a build up phase. This is still building up, and yet right now everybody out there that is trapped in buildings uh, that has loved ones that they don't know where they are. They need your help, so please do send your prayers and your intentions. Every single person's prayers and intentions does make a difference. Every single person's, even if you just take 10, 20 seconds to focus your intention, it, it could make a huge difference. Oh, it can, and, and so many of us are so extremely empathic, and we can't help but get the visions and feel the, the emotions and the sorrow and the sadness that's going on and, and what do you do with that energy it must be processed you know and what I do is I go ahead and allow the energy to come through allow the visions to come through but then on the way out I send that to anyone who needs help it, I, I transform it into a healing energy and I send it back the reason we did the video over on Hearts Om is because this energy can also go through the mothers and they can better see where it needs to go. But you do whatever you think you can. I'm just simply giving an idea of how to process this energy. And I just wanted to share, like, you see the connectivity. Recognize that we are living on a living being. So we are cells living on, uh, living on and in another organism. Just as there are trillions of cells and, and all sorts of other entities living inside of you, we are living in something as well. And this is the moment when the lights went out. So you saw there was flashes of lightning in the sky, had an ominous feel. Um, I didn't click it because I don't want to get us in trouble because you never know what videos are going to be banned in certain countries. I've had that too where, you know, I click on it, open it up, and all of a sudden you're... You know, your video can't be shown in Turkey. Your video can't be shown in Brazil. Your video can't be shown in the UK. So this is why we don't expand and click on these things because then it'll limit our reach. But as above, so below, the lightning and everything going on, and then all of a sudden, boosh, the lights go out. Yeah, you know, this, this could happen anywhere now, and especially on those areas that are super prone, anywhere on the ring of fire. And again... The guides have warned us, and, and we just, again, um, share with you guys, not fear, but just the realization that if you are in an earthquake-prone area, if you are in a coastal area, if we just look through history, we see so many things that have happened in the blink of an eye, and all of a sudden everything has changed, as you see. Everything has changed here. Uh, all these buildings gone this is the moment when this building collapsed. And you know what hits us, because as we were watching all this, sometimes people just, they don't understand what's happening, and they're just confused. And that's natural. It's really, really natural. We saw people where one building was collapsing, and then the building next to it started to collapse, and they're just casually walking it's like no I'm screaming at the screen get your butts out of there what are you doing casually walking and looking around but when it hits a lot of times we're like deer in headlights and we just don't understand we're we're just confused it's natural there's going to be a lot of these moments in this year uh, as, as that is upcoming for many different reasons and so, you know, is this natural or is this artificially flavored? It's a natural reaction to artificial flavoring that's going on in other areas is really what this is as you look at so many buildings. And yet it's, it's manifesting in Turkey. Turkey is kind of, again, this was the old Ottoman Empire 
and you know we could go back through time watch the maps change leadership changes names change and people go through the same tragedies over and over and over again it looks like a war zone it reminds me of you know over in japan at the end of world war ii this is the type of devastation that you're seeing here it is incredibly catastrophic and again there's people out there right now this is the city of haram this is in northern sit in northern syria we were talking about aleppo there's buildings down in aleppo this is you know miles and miles and miles away from the epicenter this city is completely wiped off the face of the earth there was thirty thousand people here how many are there now this this is really again what we are facing in this upcoming year so it, it's going to be a year in which you know many people will rise and and they will rise in frequency and vibration and they will do their best to help others and do everything they can to help others and and we do know also there's going to be the opposite end of that but this is part of the big dividing uh the big separation of peoples that's that's going to be ongoing as humanity will split into to those that still want to stay in uh, this type of situation there's going to be more than one reason why you know cities are are dangerous per se and yet that is where the controllers do want us in these mega cities and there is a child stuck in the debris here and so um yeah i'll give you guys all the links again send your prayers please for this little one that's stuck in this situation and all of them so usgs warns death toll could hit ten thousand. Uh, every time you look at that that keeps going up you know again this is this is one for the record books unfortunately and it's massive you know widespread devastation as you see the epicenter here again uh, Gaztian, Gaz, Gaziantep has over 2 million people in it and then there's the city to the north with over a million it's a very heavy populated area again you know if this happened in LA we wouldn't have as many um, buildings down per se as you probably will have here because again so many of these buildings are old they're not put together in a good way yeah, at the same time, we would have massive devastation, uh, you know, if that was the case. And then 7.5, and definitely uh, more are ongoing. Talkie, uh, talkie, sorry guys. Turkey halts operations at Sehan oil terminal after a huge, after that quake. So again, you know, this is all affecting the energy aspects of things. As we know, energy and food, energy and food, pretty soon... You know, this is all people are going to be concerned with is, is again, keeping their family fed and keeping them warm or, you know, keeping them uh, from not boiling alive in the summer in certain areas. And this is Aleppo. We were talking about Aleppo, Syria. This is so far to the south. And yet Aleppo has been uh, just through a horrible trial and tribulation with the ongoing war in Syria and we might even forget that, you know, there's been U.S. troops in Syria for years, years and years and years. Also, troops from Turkey, as well as Syrian, as well as Russian. It's just the civilians. It's the civilians that suffer. The average people suffer. Of course, you know, soldiers die too. And I do feel bad, especially for those that are conscripted against their will. Nobody should be forced to fight in these wars that are all about control and profits. They're not trying to free humanity. That's a freaking joke. It's a travesty, really. You know, what can we say, guys? We just need to send our prayers and intentions out there. You think about it. This castle stood there for 2,200 years, and it's just rubble now. 2,200 years. This castle made it through, and again, we showed you those quakes. Turkey's loaded with earthquakes, but it made it for 2,200 years, and, and, and now it's, it's gone. It's easy to see how, you know, there might not be much signs of our civilization in, say, 30 years, 40 years, 100 years. It, it'll be like 
wow, do you really think there were intelligent people here? <laughs> well, that's debatable. Uh, very debatable. Yeah, absolutely. So we have a 4.4 they're showing here. And uh, the Buffalo and Niagara Falls area, New York, New York State, guys, 4.4. This is this is a curious one, is it not? As we see USGS calling it 3.8, we understand. You can see the house shook. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of shaking. Uh, as, as I've shared with you guys for a long time now, I really, really do feel we're going to see Cascadia and the San Andreas, I think, before we hit 2025. I really feel pretty sure about that. I hope it's not the case, or I hope if that energy is released, it's not as destructive as it can be. You know, it's it's interesting when we see uh, some of these sites. Now, Turkey is loaded with our ancient history. Oh, man, this is one of the key areas like Peru, like, like Bolivia, some of these areas where people survived, and, and like the American Southwest, like Arizona, Grand Canyon, where people went in and, and stayed inside the earth until everything settled. Then they came, popped their heads out, and started to, to go about life again. Here we find this area in Turkey, lots of metals and glass found within the structure. Now it was flooded in 74 for a new dam and that dam might come down the way these things are going. Uh, I did see, I couldn't verify reports of um, s uh, certain dams in this area that were in danger, uh, in the Quake Torrent area that were in danger of perhaps uh, letting go again, put your positive prayers out there and energies out there. There's a reason why they flood some of these areas. There's a reason why. Sure, sure, they need they they need to create dams. They need to create water support. You know, supplies for new cities that are coming in. The other thing is to cover up just how advanced these civilizations were that are no more. Mm -hmm. And and you know, and it goes on and on, and it's very very unfortunate and very very frustrating. Um, but I mean, this this part of things is what came up during channeling, and it, it's very difficult for me to really articulate what was going on. But the best that I can tell you guys is it's a transference of energy. The initial energy that I read was saying, no, there is no technology involvement. And I was so confused. But then information started coming in where the earth is saying she was bound she was doing everything she could to hold back and then the information came through that they're they're utilizing um, ley lines and what would we call them in our bodies mike well you know again the earth is a being you know so th these none of these are ours i did not do any of these maps i'm just sharing them to make a point, you know, as you can see, um, here we have Iran, here we have Turkey, you know, this is going very close to that area. We see Egypt here. Uh, interestingly enough, we see the Nazca area, Nazca lines, Machu Picchu, we see Easter Island, remember the relics over there again. The, these are ley lines, which again, um, are like meridians in the human body. If you know uh, acupuncture, if you know traditional Chinese medicine, if you understand medical qigong, you understand this perfectly clear. Uh, again, these this is how the energy flows. It flows through the earth. When we look at these different, now you might call these points nadis, you know, nadis, and and acupuncture points, you know, they're energy transference points where multiple sites hit. So, you know, again, there are important parts in the body. Now, in, in acupuncture, we can go ahead and, you know, insert a needle over in the foot, you know, and say, you know, put it on the heart uh, area to help with heart problems or on the kidney area. You know, the K1 point, which is the bubbling wells point um, on the sole of the foot. It's the first point in the kidney meridian. That's what we actually massage when we go to do qigong and tai chi just to stimulate the energy flow, which does flow all the way up to the kidneys. And the kidneys are where the life force is stored. It's called jing. It's, a, it's a, like a more denser sort of life force that we in, inherit from our parents. And that's a finite quality uh, and quantity. And it's stored in your kidneys. So again, what can they do? Well, it, by doing something like they did over on Tonga, because Tonga was completely 
uh, manufactured, it, it sets a trigger event. And so that was a massive, massive eruption. And, and that was most definitely, uh, they did this through technology, space-bound technology. No, space is not fake. Uh, you know, the lack of brain cells out there, unfortunately, and, and total conditioning of the masses. to under, it, We need to understand as above, so below, as within, so without. So it's, it's all about energy transfer. And what they're doing is they're stimulating certain acupuncture points in the earth itself, knowing they're going to get reactions. Now, this is something somebody did way back in 2012. And again, this is not mine. I just picked this because we were getting this message from the guides that what they're doing is they're triggering acupuncture points, which again are related to meridians, which are, if we're looking at the earth, then we're talking about these ley line areas. So when you see this, where's all the center point? It's, it's right here in Turkey. Turkey is a center point in so many ways. We, we have seen the potential for massive quakes in certain areas. And uh, I think Dutch Sense was saying he was expecting a massive one down here. And he was calling for a 7.5 or greater. I believe that's what Dutch was saying. We, we, we don't follow Dutch, but we have in the past. Anyway, it manifested over here. Um, and then there was another guy uh, that was on um, Twitter three days ago three days ago he said there's going to be a seven five in turkey he nailed it he nailed it and he said it would be within three days i mean he's just boom he nailed it um but again it's energy transference and so you know these are shallow which means it's a releasing of energy instead of deep if if we had these and they were uh you know multiple hundred kilometers deep it would probably mean there's a big quake coming somewhere else now they're still probably stimulating. So there could be <laughs> other quakes coming somewhere else. Where would you likely look? Probably any of these points. That's, you know, logical. You know, Japan, obviously. I think um, some were saying it's going to just transfer over. Yeah, sure, you know, it, it, would, it wouldn't be unusual. We've seen things move up into Greece and then even move up in towards um, Central Europe and then just kind of dissipate. Every now and then you'll see something, uh, you know, at fours or even maybe up to a five in Germany or Poland. Shoot, we've seen that in the UK at times. But again, conversely, it can flow over to the west coast of the U.S., anywhere along the west coast of, of Latin America. And obviously, New Zealand, Fiji, Sumatra, Indonesia, Philippines, you know, these are all likely, likely spots. It is all about energy flow and transference. And again, you know, Mother Earth is our mother and she is being triggered. It's the same thing as above, so below. We have these meridians. There's, guess how many principal meridians? Twelve. Twelve. Again, this is part of the matrix. You know, twelve months, twelve apostles, twelve tribes of Israel. We go on and on and on. Twelve zodiac signs. Well, there's twelve principal meridians. Two centerline meridians, which make up um, the key focal point through the body of, of the circulation of, of energy. And it's a conception and the governing vessel. You could kind of think of those, you know, just yin and yang. And from that, it branches on off from there. And then we have our, our various acupuncture points. Now, these could be any point, you know, that there's going to be a major uh, earthquake. Because, again, it's all reflected as above, so below. Indeed. And, and this explains a lot of the information that I was getting. And... You know, I mean, <laughs> it's really heavy stuff to, to put down. And sometimes you just got to lighten up. And, you know, if you're not looking at your screen, look at your screen now. Because this guy is having the most fun with another being that you wouldn't think they would be friends. But no, he's, well, he might eat. I hope he doesn't eat him. But anyway, he is really enjoying this other being and playing with him and just trying to make friends. He doesn't know that he can't speak the same language. He's just, you know, palling around.
Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, there's been uh, numerous comments uh, from time to time. We only usually get one of them per video whenever we bring up the fact of, of what we would call sleepy cellular units that are in the country, in the U.S., and in, in all of the EU, too. You know, again, it, it's part of that bigger plan that's under play. But the, the reality is, again, the migrant situation is caused by the incessant wars. And, and of course, all people really sh need to start looking at ourselves as one, one tribe, one tribe, and not under anybody's control. And so if that's the very definition of anarchy, sign me up. You know, again, no central control. Yeah, no central control will lead to a lot more freedoms because this is how the, the, the few control the many. Yet what we see is, again, everything that you've seen going on elsewhere, over there, over there, over there. Oh, I feel real bad for them. It must be horrible to be brought up over there. Well, in these times, you know, over there is going to be here. And, and it's going to be wherever we are because this is a global situation we are all facing. Absolutely, you can look at what's coming as, again, the destruction of Babylon the Great. It's, it's just yet another chapter in the never-ending saga of the end times, which are every single day when we are in the Kali Yuga. Every single day, every single day of every single year is part of the end times when you're in the Kali Yuga because they keep you trapped in fear. Yet again, this is a ride. This is a ride. The roller coaster ends at some point in time. We step off, and then we are greeted by our family members and our loved ones, and we say, wow, that was intense, or damn, that was kind of fun. You know what? I'm going to go back and do it all again. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we need to realize the quicker we realize we're all in this boat together, the better off we're going to be. So please join us over on Heart Tome, and do share your positive intentions, your prayers, Recognize that again, you know, the benevolent beings that are out there on these higher densities, they, they're not bound by dogma. The only ones bound by the dogma are the ones that are here that are not understanding the big picture. So let's unify our positive intentions and let's send our positive intentions for the planet that we get through these times together and discover our pathway to personal freedom and freedom of humanity and all those on the planet. So Every day can be a joy of finding a new friend. Indeed, definitely. And I just really want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who helps us support this channel on Patreon, on Ko-Fi. Um, it really, really, really helps as it's getting more and more difficult to rely on anything else. But you guys, we really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. Uh, stay safe. Source bless. And namaste. Namaste.